we want to multiply the rational expressions. Before multiplying though, we will simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. However, to do this, we must first factor the numerators and denominators. Looking at the first rational expression, we should recognize that x squared minus 16 is a difference of squares and therefore will factor into two binomial factors. Because x times x is equal to x squared and four times four is equal to 16, one binomial factor is x plus four and the other is x minus four. And now let's factor two x squared plus five x minus 12. Notice how we don't have any common factors other than one and therefore if the trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Also notice how the leading coefficient is two, which makes it a little more challenging to factor. We've discussed several ways to factor trinomials when a is not one. In this video, we will use trial and error. So because the first term is two x squared, which is equal to two x times x, one binomial factor will have a two x in the first position. The other binomial factor will have an x in the first position. And now we place the factors of negative 12 in the second positions so that the sum of the inner and outer product gives us positive five x. For negative 12, let's consider the factors of negative four and positive three as well as negative three and positive four. One thing we should recognize is that we will never use plus or minus four in this binomial because if we did, the binomial would have a common factor of two, which is not possible if two is not a common factor in the original trinomial. So let's try placing the plus three in this binomial and the minus four in this binomial. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer product. The inner product is positive three x plus the outer product is negative eight x, which is equal to negative five x, and we want positive five x. So because we have the wrong sign, it's a simple fix. We change the addition to subtraction and the subtraction to addition. So we change this to two x minus three and change this to x plus four. And let's just verify the sum of the products is positive five x. Now the inner product is negative three x, plus the outer product is now positive eight x, which does give us positive five x, which is the middle term. This is now factored correctly. And now let's factor the second rational expression. Looking at the numerator, notice how the leading coefficient is one, which makes this easier to factor. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, because the first term is x squared, and x squared is equal to x times x. We have a factor of x in the first position of both binomials. And again now, because the leading coefficient is one, the second terms in the binomial factors will be the factors of positive 16 that add to negative eight. And because negative four times negative four is equal to positive 16, and negative four plus negative four is equal to negative eight, both binomial factors are x minus four. which means x squared minus eight x plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial. And now let's factor two x squared minus 13 x plus 15. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors because the first term is two x squared, which is equal to two x times x. One binomial factor has two x in the first position and the other binomial factor has x in the first position. Again, because the leading coefficient is not one, we now place the factors of positive 15 in the second positions so that the sum of the inner and outer product is negative 13 x. And because the sum has to be negative, we will use negative factors of positive 15. Let's use negative three and negative five. Keeping in mind we do want things to simplify out because we have a factor of two x minus three here Let's put the minus three with the two x here, which means we'll put the minus five with the x. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer product. The inner product is negative three x, plus the outer product is negative 10 x, which notice does give us negative 13 x, which is the middle term. Now that we have everything factored, we can simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have a common factor of two x minus three. Two x minus three divided by two x minus three simplifies to one. We also have a common factor of x plus four here, 
x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 simplifies to 1. And we also have a common factor of x minus 4 here. x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 also simplifies to 1. We have no other common factors between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we now multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. There's only one factor left in the numerator, which is x minus 4, and there's only one factor left in the denominator, which is x minus 5. This is a simplified product of the two rational expressions. I hope you found this helpful.